At the centre of the spiral galaxy NGC 3147 sits what astronomers thought was an inactive black hole. In a recent image taken of this area, astronomers have discovered a structure surrounding this black hole which they thought was impossible. NGC 3147 is located about 130 million light years from Earth. It is thought that the black hole at the centre is relatively small at only 250 million times the mass of the Sun. It also has a low luminosity, suggesting that there should be no accretion disk present. What they discovered in the new image is that this inactive black hole has a flat disk of material circling it at a very close distance to the black hole itself. Now these disks should not be present in smaller black holes, let alone one which is not active. The disk should only exist while it is feeding on material, but here we have material that is happily orbiting the black hole. In the article they refer to the fact that they think this black hole may be a smaller version of a quasar and they admit that their current model for gas dynamics in very faint active galaxies clearly has failed. They also discuss the fact that when they observed the cloud, they saw distortions in the light being emitted from the cloud, and by this they are referring to the fact that this gas sits so close to the black hole that gravitational redshift is causing the light waves to appear much redder than they are. So let's break this down into the electrical and plasma aspects. Again, in an electric universe, there is no such concept as a black hole. Galaxies are likely powered by something called a plasmoid. Now, I'm actually planning to do a, a series of videos to go through the concept of plasmoids in more detail explaining how they come about and how we can use it to explain many, many phenomena. Anyway, these plasmoids churn matter, drawing in plasma along the axis of rotation and spitting them out along the poles. So let's address the first question about the material disk. This is exactly what we would expect to find. As the plasma gets drawn in along the rotation axis, it becomes compressed into a disk. And as we get closer to the centre of the object, the disk would become more dense. Now, the size of this plasmoid would be much, much, much larger than the disk which is visible. The second important point to realise is that the matter which is being drawn in is highly ionised. And this means that it is highly likely that either plasma redshift, Compton scattering or the Wolf effect will cause the light to appear redshifted. And the fact that they detect the light to be more redshifted than the parent galaxy is not something to simply gloss over. In the example of quasars, they dismiss gravity redshift as one of the reasons for explaining the high redshift of quasars, favouring the fact that they believe them to be very distant objects. But in their model, these quasars are about a thousand times larger, maybe even more, than this active galactic nuclei. And yet here it is fine to say that the redshift is being caused by gravitational redshift because obviously they can't say that it is distant because it is part of this galaxy. So here is clear evidence of a galaxy with an object in its centre which has a different redshift to it. They use their own models whenever they feel it most appropriate. Obviously, in this case, they are only left with gravitational redshift. They even go on to suggest that this black hole is actually a mini version of a quasar. Now, I'll leave you to join the dots on that one. In an electric and plasma model, the quasars are in fact smaller versions of an active galactic nuclei, but more energetic versions of it. And this is why their redshift is higher. Over time, the energy drains and they turn into more normal galaxies, with the plasmoid still at its heart. Now, I feel that this whole topic of plasmoids is underexplained and may well hold the clue to many topics I have been looking at lately, so watch out for the new mini series coming soon on this. 
Now, for me, the most important takeaway from this piece is nothing to do with the black hole, but it is all to do with the redshift of this gas surrounding the black hole. To me, this is clear evidence that Art was right all along about quasars. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time. <laughs>